can I vent for a second? Is this going to be like, oh, this is a drama channel and oh, Shani is always complaining. Like, can I just vent for a second just to you guys, just to my Shani fannies, the ones that actually do care about me. Actually, I don't even have to ask. I know that I can, so thank you. So forget that I even asked. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so like, I've been having a really horrible night. <laughs> you guys don't you know that I don't cry and I've been crying because out of nothing but pure frustration and pain and I just I'm in so much pain I can't even describe but I'm gonna try um, gastroparesis is something that is becoming more and more frustrating and painful. How many times can I say that? Um, so for like 10 days now about, I have not been able to poop. And I know what you're all thinking. I never am able to poop very well, but this time it's different. This time my poop has been very difficult to get out at all. And I think I have some sort of either a blockage or I don't know here's what's been happening and this is going to get graphic um, and so if you're like sensitive to that or if you're like a male family member of mine besides Danny you might not want to hear about my butthole so just to warn you <laughs> um, so for the last 10 nights every time I try and go poo you guys know that I have to use enemas to go poo um, because I have gastroparesis. For those of you that don't know, gastroparesis is where, in my case, um, I'm sure other people get it for other reasons, but in my case, um, it's where my body basically stopped or at least slowed down almost all the way um, digesting on its own because I didn't feed my body correctly. I didn't keep enough food down for my bowels to digest. So my body was not used to digesting. And so then my bowels got really lazy and then they were lazy. They stopped working on their own. So I had to do enemas and take lots of vitamin fiber and drink fiber and eat a lot of fiber and all of those things in order for me to poop. And usually I'm on the toilet for about four hours every night um, doing my enemas and just really trying to relax my bowels and get a little bit of poop to come out every night. And on a good night, I can get, you know, you know, a good squirt or four or five out. And by a good squirt, I would say about that much that's like that thin because my butthole is always swollen. Oh, you can't see. About that thin because my butthole's always swollen. My, my poo is never thick anymore. Like, I'm sure you've all had poo that's like that thick. No, I haven't had that since I was little. This is like my poo, that's like the thickest that it gets. So like that thin and that long is like a good little squirt. And on a very good night, I will get like five of those, okay? So just go with me here. Um, but on the past 10 nights, <laughs> I've gotten literally this much and that thin of my finger every other night. So that's it. And I am in so much pain because it also feels like I have some sort of like a, it feels like a rock. I know it's not a rock, but it feels like a rock is like at my butthole opening inside. And so if I put an enema up there and I can like get, I can get past it with the enema and I can get past it up into the area, up into the colon to like squirt the liquid up there. And so then it will like work hard up there and I can feel it like loosening up the poopages so that it will then try and get the poopages out. But then that rock thing won't let the poopages out. And so then it creates a problem and then I feel like I have to poo, but I can't because that thing is in the way. And so last night it got pretty painful, but tonight I just got done. I've been on the toilet for six, six hours. And 
it was very, very, very traumatic. I cannot remember the last time I had such a traumatic pooping session. Um, I basically uh, got to a point where I pushed. I, I, it, the thing is, is that I couldn't help but push. It's kind of like when pregnant women, when they're in labor, they f they are told to wait to push as long as they can so that they can get as much force to get the baby out, but they feel like they have to push and they can't hold it sometimes. That's how it was for me. I couldn't hold, I couldn't help it. I had to push and all the pushing made it worse and it popped out more, more and more hemorrhoids and it ripped my butthole and um, I ended up getting a couple pieces of poo out that were like really large and really rock hard and tore my butthole apart. So I have like five ginormous hemorrhoids. I have probably, I would guess six or seven large fissures, which are cuts on the inner uh, anus hole opening. Um, and I still have that little blockage of poop stuck at the opening and it won't go back in and it won't come out. So it's kind of just stuck at the opening keeping the opening open a little because it's so big that it won't like close. So it's just stuck there and I can't get it back in. I've tried pushing it back in with my finger. I put the little finger condom on and try pushing it back in, won't go back in and it, and it won't come out. So right now I am in pain and it feels like my whole anus hole is stuffed full of poo that won't come out, won't go in. I am bleeding, I am torn apart. I have bubbles, painful bubbles that are popping out of me and bleeding and pussing and I feel like I'm going to die and I feel like I'm going to pass out and all of the things in my, all the blood vessels in my face are popping because from pushing so hard and all the zits from underneath my skin are, are popping out because from pushing so hard and all the pressures and I'm in so much pain that I can't even function and now I'm feeling loopy because I had to take pain meds and now I'm now I'm just out of my mind crazy. <sighs> the point of this rant was not only for me to vent because I'm very frustrated and in a lot of pain. <laughs> I'm trying to make this funny, but really. <sighs> if there's any way at all, guys, that you can just. Oh, man. These eating disorders of ours are just. They're killers, dude. And it's like. stupidest disease in the world why do we do it so if you think that you know nothing's gonna happen to you and you're gonna be fine and nothing's happened to you so far listen nothing happened to me for a long long time I was bulimic for a decade before I got gastroparesis more than a decade like if you think you're okay, you're not because it's an addiction. And once you have it, it is so difficult to get rid of, especially this addiction. Any eating disorder is so, so difficult of an addiction because you have to face your addiction every day. You have to have food to live. And I know I say this all the time, but it's because it's true. You can't. You can stay away from alcohol, you can stay away from drugs, but you can't stay away from food. You have to face it every day. So, do everything you can, and I'm going to try and get some sleep. Please pray for my anus hole. That was the drugs talking, not me. Oh, good heavens.
Okay. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting me vent. I love you guys. I'll see you later. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.